constructing a row cover. This raised bed of strawberries is being upgraded from cedar struts to row cover hoops. Tools that I used. Cordless jigsaw, rough cut blade, cordless drill, measuring tape, utility knife, number two square bit, and one eighth inch drill bit. Materials for my project. Soft plastic water pipe with one inch inner diameter and pressure rating of 80 PSI. Usually sold in 100 foot spools. Plastic bird netting. 3 fourths inch. Washers. 1 quarter inch stainless steel. Deck screws. Number 2 square drive. Size 8 by 2 and a half inches. 1 and a half inch washers. I held down the pipe securely at one end to prevent the pipe from coiling up. I unrolled the pipe and let it sit in the sun to soften. I measured every 8 feet and marked my cuts with my utility knife. I didn't forget my safety glasses. I measured and scratched a fine line every two feet along the side of the box. I also measured vertically four and a half inches from the sideboard's top edge. I marked across my two foot horizontal distance. Holding the end of the row cover hoop pipe freehand, about four and a half inches below the top edge, I drilled the upper pilot hole just through the pipe, about one inch below the top edge of the sideboard. I temporarily anchored the two washers and two screws by hand. Lining up the end of the row cover hoop against my horizontal mark on the side of the box, I attached the row cover hoop to the sideboard. I repeat the process again on the other side. Cutting the row cover clamps. Earlier, I cut a 4 inch section of water pipe. The pipe section is used as a measuring stick to score a line of every 4 inches. With a utility knife, I slit the pipe sections down their sides. Row cover clamp. Cut from soft plastic water pipe with 1 inch inner diameter and 80 psi rating. I found that 160 PSI rated water pipe isn't suitable for clamps. It has a thicker wall and is too stiff. There we go. The row cover clamps are adjustable. Covering the row cover hoops with bird netting. Starting at one end of the raised bed, I centered the netting from the top of the hoops, leaving an overhang two and a half feet at the end points of the raised bed. I made adjustments as I went along. I used 3 quarter inch netting to allow the pollinators to get to the flowers. The bird netting roll was slightly narrow, 
My answer was to stretch and tie down the netting for a couple weeks. I untied the netting and attached weights to the netting every four feet that drapes taunt outside the box.